Welcome to new NVR Mini 2 training video. You're currently in the network setup section where we'll discuss network configuration settings, DDNS, UPnP and network service. Since NVR Mini 2 needs to communicate with other devices through the internet, it's important to make sure all the ethernet settings are configured properly. First, go to network setup page. Under the Setup tab, you can key in your NVR Mini 2's server name, choose the way to get the IP, either automatically from DHCP server or manually. Here you can see the 4-bay model of the NVR Mini 2 has two LANs. By using dual LAN, you can separate some cameras to be viewed within the intranet only, while other cameras can be viewed over the internet. This is helpful for security management. In order to introduce the DDNS tab, let's move to another NVR Mini 2, which is on the internet. If you want to allow the client to connect to an NVR Mini 2 using a domain name, instead of an IP address, you will need to enable the DDNS setup under the DDNS setup tab. As you can see over here, you can set up the domain name for NVR Mini 2 through the two DDNS providers. You need to register the username and password on the DDNS server's website first. Then you can start to apply your own domain name. Here you can see that nvrmini.dyndns-free.com is our domain name for this unit which means we can connect to the NVR Mini 2 either by typing the domain name or by entering the IP address. After creating the domain name, you can go back to NVR Mini 2 for further settings. Simply key in the username, the password, and domain name. Then click on Save. Now we have successfully assigned a domain name for the NVR Mini 2. This way, you can get access to the NVR Mini 2 server using the IP address or by using the domain name. Now let's move to the UPnP port forwarding tab. For saving time in port configuration on router, if users want to access NVR Mini 2 from WAN, you'll need to enable UPnP service on the router first. This is an example of a router settings page. If the router has this function, please enable it first. Then we can go back to the NVR Mini 2. Click the search button. The available routers will be listed. Select one of the search routers and all UPnP ports configured on this router will show under the UPnP port forwarding list. After that, click the add icon to set up port forwarding to this router automatically. You will find in the network service page that the ports of setting live view Playback and CMS are all listed. Let's stay on this page to know more about what information we can get. In fact, in the Network Services page, you'll find the port number for each network service. For example, when connecting NVR Mini 2 by IE browser, the port number is 80. Under the Live View and Playback Service tab, you can see the live streaming server port is 5150, which is for logging in using mobile phone or the new remote Live Viewer software. The Playback Service port is 5160. Under the CMS tab, remember to enable the CMS service first, then the CMS can be accessed using port 5170. Of course, all port numbers mentioned above are default values and you can change them if needed. 
For more information, visit the Nuo website on www.nuo.com.